Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for August 2020 for love and relationship. First of all, you are on an adventure with your work. You are going to have really, like, you know, just really very good work from now on. If it's a business or something, you are having your financial freedom. It's going to happen. Or it's happening already, but you feel like, you know, that, what if I'm supposed to do another work or another job? What if I'm supposed to do something else? You are kind of like, I'm not sure. I don't feel like, you know, really the energy or the security with this job. I don't feel myself. I want to feel like, you know, I'm doing something valuable, something good. You are doing something valuable, but it seems to be that, you know, you are afraid that you could be wrong about what you are doing or you are doubting your uh, your work lately or the type of work you are doing. It seems here like, you know, that a lot of people confusing really the heck out of you at this time. You are a very responsible person. You do your work really very well. You know what you are doing. You are very smart. But I get here someone who has manipulated you and lied to you, is making things like, you know, complicated for you. It's like shutting your, your mind or not really making you like, you know, be yourself or open up. It's kind of like you are too honest. You are really up there and you are doing like your work perfectly the way it should be. And you work very hard. But someone like, you know, confused the heck out of you because they, doesn't, they don't want you to be really focused on their faults and their mistakes. They want you to focus on the other person that they are with. Like, you know, in a way that um, someone could be really asking you about love and relationship and you are saying, well, this person can be with you if you do this and that. No, it's not my fault. It's their fault. Why you are doing that? Anyway. There is an ex of yours, like, you know, someone, like, you know, that you don't really want to be with or you don't want to be really, like, you know, associated with. That person, like, you know, just um, keep really want to come to you and kind of like stealing the energy. Like every time you have really that loving, beautiful energy and uh, you are enjoying your life and be happy, that person comes and steal that energy. Like, you know, they have really a drain of energy on you in a way that they can be really draining you and you don't feel yourself anymore. Even like you know, that your ex, the ex like you know, of yours, like you know, keep really want to communicate or call you and you feel you want to ignore them in the past. And I get here that you feel that you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to connect with them. And you feel like, you know, that every time you fall apart or you are down or drained, like, you know, this person, because this person is very manipulative, a liar, a cheater. You don't wish or wait for this person to connect with you. And I get here recently that they have been really like, you know, they're in your energy and for some way and they want to communicate. You pick up the phone, you talk to this person, but you don't feel it. You don't, because... The energy between you two is empty here. See the emptiness? That's from your part too. You don't feel that person at all. And it's kind of like sometimes you feel, okay, it's an ex. Maybe I'll talk, I'll talk to them because, you know, I have kids from. I just don't feel it at all. I learned my lesson from this person. This person wants to call you. I get here because she, they want to fool around with you. They want you to cheat on the person that you love, the person you are with. There is a person that you want is giving you your freedom and your happiness from the actual ex. 
but with this person that you love and you are with lately you have been really like you know suspicious about that person and you feel like you no know, maybe they are playing around with me like you know behind my back maybe they are playing around like you know really with someone else maybe they connect like you know, with an ex of theirs and you are kind of like you know having some fears lately it says here that you know your person ended and finished it with someone that they dealt with before they don't want any stress they are, they are afraid to connect with another person and you're going to end it with them so they don't really like no want to connect with this actual person anymore they learned their lesson you taught that person a lesson it's a big lesson here and i get here that you want to isolate the person that you are with because you feel like you no know, maybe they are doing something over the internet cheating or they did something before so it looks to me here what happened that this person like you no know, they maybe cheated on you before that was in the past long time ago you left this person you divorced them you didn't want to come back to them they had a bad addiction they had like you no know, really maybe a drinking problem a drug problem and you felt like you know that okay you know what i don't really want to be with this person nowadays this person came back everything is working between you two now you felt i should have left this person and like you no know, not really being with them i should have been like you no know, really kept really this person how did i take this person back how did i really forgive that person for all the above about what they have done to me because they have done to me like you no know, really a lot and it is bad it's like the memories from uh, the past is flashing back to you like you know just you, you are not really trying to do it these memories from the past flashing back and you are like this person did this oh my god that was horrible they did this and that to me how did i take this person uh, back some of you remarry that person some of you like you know, still living with this person how do i feel like you know, everything is so happy and tremendous what's going on here why all of this feeling here because there is someone that you feel really beautiful energy with someone that you love really very much that start really showing up in the picture and come to you and you feel like you no know, what am i supposed to do with that person this is the person i am in love with i have a person who's around me or married to me or living with me dealing with me daily and everything is working perfect it's really nice and I took that person because I don't want the past past ex, the first one long time ago ex, to come back. And still, this ex is really trying to come back. And this is also an ex that you are living with. But this is the person that you have really like no beautiful energy with. And you say, I want this person. You are feeling like you know, some sort of insecurity at this time because you are really like you know, going through emotions. You don't understand these emotions and it's giving you fear. It's giving you fear and you feel like you, know, you have to change things in your life at this time. It's giving you stress and you say like, you know, okay, I learned my lesson from the Taurus. I learned my lesson from the Capricorn. I learned my lesson from that person. What am I supposed to do? Oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. I should isolate this person. And you feel like, oh my God, did I do something wrong? Was I in a negative energy to accept like you know, this person back in, your, in my life? This is the person I love. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh yeah, yeah, Gemini, you are going through a lot here. You feel like you know, the person that you know you are living with is really not really getting you anywhere. Like... Is this person with me because they are really trying to see that, you know, I'm going, uh, I'm succeeding in my work and this person wants to live with me? Or I bought a house or a land and that's why they want to be with me? Is it because I'm succeeding at this time, like, you know, this year, like, you know, they want to be with me? This person love you, the person that you are with and you love them too. And they tell you here that even if you try to change things, you're still protective over this person. Even if you let go, like, you know, the current person, what's going to happen that you are not ever going to let them go? 
Beside, it shows here that you are waiting for the actual person that you are in love with. That's waiting. See, the card have too many meanings. It depends on like nowhere stand in the deck, in the spread. Sorry. The person you live with, they feel like that you are in between and decided back and forth about them. They can sense that. You are in a relationship. You open your heart for that person. And it says here that, okay, I'm going to let go. Because you want another positive relationship with someone else. And you feel like, you no, know, you don't want to progress it with this person. So it seems to be that, you know, you are thinking about past things that your person did. And you feel like, you no, know, I have the anxiety with this person. I'm not really feeling myself. Maybe I need like just to destroy it and walk away because there is an actual person I'm in love with here that I'm waiting for. They're going to be with me and I don't know what to do with the current person. You are in a chaos and a struggle at this time. You are sabotaging your relationship, your current relationship, because you want to, do, to be with the new relationship. But it says here that There is a struggle in that, like in a new relationship, to be established because the other person, yes, he, they do love you. They feel really a great connection with you. The other person, like you know, that, haven't really presented the, themselves to you like you no know, very right yet. Yes, you have really this beautiful radiant energy between you two, but this person haven't really come to you to tell you anything. So you are just kind of like confusing yourself at this time. They say here that push your confusion away. This is really something surprises. You feel like, you know, I want to push like, you know, the current person because that person is really saying hello to me now. This person is really like, you know, just giving me love, showing me love. And what am I going to do? And every time you think about this new person, the first, first ex, long time ago ex, like, you know, coming in the picture and say, am I confused or confusing myself or the universe? Why they are doing this to me? Every time I want this particular person, the first, the first, first back a long time ago, ex come to me, which is, I don't want this person. And I know the person I'm living with, they are not really so sincere. They are saying like, no, no, stop confusing yourself. The person that you love, they mean it. They love you so much. And they are like, you know, living with you at this time. This person really mean very well to you. Even they lied to you before in the past. And you, you are kind of like right now, hey, I have been really like, you know, just um, believing every word my husband or my, my wife or the current relationship saying lately. But hey, wait a minute. What if they have been lying to me again and I don't even realize it? It's like, are you trying to create the mess in your life right now ever, after everything like no really is going so perfect? Because of this actual person that you are in love with and you feel yourself with, that they haven't been really coming to you yet or presenting themselves to you to the relationship yet. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. The person that you are most in love with They give you that edge of confidence. You feel yourself really very happy. You feel yourself different. This person think that you are a really very wise person. You are a good person. You are a giver. You are smart. You are intelligent. 
your person here, they are being careful about you being in a relationship because they think you're married or something. And you are kind of like, hey, wait a minute, I don't trust my marriage anymore. That's you. This person also hasn't been cutting it off with a third party, another person. They love you, this person love you. See the heart here on this person's shoulder? There is a heart here. I don't know if you can see it. There is a heart. They love you. But they love someone else in the same time because they are still living in another relationship. So they haven't been presenting to you. And you are like, okay, I'm married or I'm in a relationship also and I have a third party. What should I do? Shall I break up with my husband or my wife or my current relationship because you want to be with me? Maybe I'm supposed to do that. But it says here, like, you know, this person wants to get together with you. Right now, you are mad at your current relationship. And you feel like, you know, maybe I should really break up with my current person because this person is coming in the picture more. This person is reunited with you right now, and you feel really confident about it. You feel lucky, and you feel like, you know, something good. You are opening your heart for love. You are being mellow, soft, like, you know, having this beautiful feeling. Then you are kind of like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I need to be really not trusting this person that I'm in love with because nothing is changing. This person coming, yes, forthcoming, but not exactly what I want. You welcome this person, but this person is looking into themselves here. Of course, they have another relationship. They are holding on it. In the back of their, uh, their, their back here, it's you. They're still holding on you, thinking about you all the time. This person haven't forgetting about you, but they are trying to be busy with other things right now. And you feel like, uh... This person thinking about you so much, look how deeply that person is thinking about you, the one you are in love with. They have worry and sometimes type of anxiety here. It's like you are picking on that too, yourself. It says here, they want you, they're attracted to you, they want to be with you. You are thinking about love, happiness, excitement, to kiss you, to be around you, to hold you, to hug you, to smell you. They are like you know, just sleepless. They think about you all the time. They want to see you also. This person wants to see you. They don't know what to do. They see the light like you know that you have a connection, you have a great connection because this person start to analyze and realize like you know the energy between you two because both of you are on the same balance here, emotionally, mentally. And you are like, oh my god, what shall I do? You want this person to come to you, but he's still worried about someone from your past here, other people from your past, the past, past person, the person you live with. Like, you know, what shall I do? And I get here that you have a soulmate connection, you and this person, that's why you keep really thinking about each other. You feel that energy. You have been really like, you know, even not sleeping very well. Sometimes you want to really go to sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night two, three times or four times. Then you go to sleep again. Some of you like you know, cannot sleep. It's just because you and this person you are in love with, thinking about each other deeply, worried what's going to happen to our relationships, other relationships. That's why the other person say, like you know, that person say, I'm not sure if I want to come forward because it's like impossible. I have someone and they have someone. What am I supposed to do? They say, like, you know, I better walk away because I don't want to hurt you. And you are like, but I'm in love with you. And all of this love, what am I supposed to do with? They have someone else, a third party, but it seems to be like, you know, for some people, the other person is really sick. And they have obligation for it. And they don't want to be really like you know, just sabotaging that relationship. They feel guilty and bad about it.
no matter what the circumstances are, I see this person approaching you. They are attracted to you and into you. This person is doing an effort. Look. This person is going to approach you and do an effort for you. They have full attraction for you. Even if you are kind of like getting together without an actual relationship, to be really connected physically as cheating affair, it doesn't matter to this person right now because this person is not that type or that kind. They kept really their feeling and emotions deep inside them. They never wanted to express that feeling to you. They never even wanted to say something. But you too, like, you know, feel each other very much. And they say, I will do an effort. I'm attracted to this person and I love them so much. No matter what, I will be there to help you to do anything you want. This is what's going on exactly here. You feel the insecurity, you want to end it. It says here, like, you know, I'm not sure. I don't want any stress. I settled down with someone already. Why I want to do that? Then this, then you hold back. Then you hold back. Then you become moody. Then you are like, no, wanting this. You want the change. Then at the end, you say, you know what? I feel good. I'm going to keep feeling good. And I'm not really going to be really trying to do anything about it. So go figure. Like you are really like, you just messed up about it. So your person is coming back. The person that you're in love with wants to do an effort with you. And it says here, just like, you know, really relax. Do not have to rush and push the person that you are with at this time or say like, you no know, goodbye to them. Just leave it alone. It's coming forward and it's working by itself. You don't have to be stressed and mad and angry. Nothing bad is going to happen there. Okay. Okay. There is another, like, you no, know, really someone here. Related to the person that you are with. And that person that they have been really in their past. Because you feel like, no, I don't feel this person. They haven't been coming around. They haven't been saying anything. Let's see what's going on. Gemini. The person that you live with or married to already. There is a person that they dealt with before. It could be they had an affair with or you left each other. And they had really a relationship with that person. It could be either way. Let's see, like, you know, what's going on with that person and that third party. Because you keep sus being suspicious about your person dealing with this person. The other person in relation, they say they are they are in love with the person you live with. They are in love with him or her, and they cannot try harder to bring this person to be, to them back. Yes, your person is holding on you. They think you are their soulmate and they love you see this is your person that you if you are suspicious about their love they love you they are holding on you you are someone they know already and you are soulmate and they are in love with you this is the person you are in a relationship with this person is trying harder with their marriage with you they think they still have the heart for another person. They did not forget about that person. It's not like, you know, okay, I hate her or I hate him already, whatever it is, I don't want to deal with them. They have their heart. Because this is someone who's holding on you and another person at the same time. Do not want to let go either one of you. Even though for some of you, can be really holding in the heart, not doing anything about it also. It doesn't have to be physical. 
So they are moody about that, renewing that love with the other person, with the third party. The other person, like, you know, they are frustrated and devastated. And they say, like, you know, okay, they cut it off with me. They get married. They have a wife. They have a husband, whatever it is, like, you know, male or female. I know that this person is my soulmate, not you, Gemini, the other person. And it could be another Gemini female also. It could be. Okay? Because there is you, Gemini, the one you are in love with is a Gemini. And your person dealt with a Gemini. See, that's when you see the cards sometimes and it gets complicated for you. You say, which one I'm picking on? It could be like no three of you, Gemini. Anyway, it could be other signs too. It doesn't have to be a Gemini, but you know, I see it this way. So, the person, the third party that's interested in your spouse here, it seems to be that they think they're, they are their soulmate. They are moody about it. They are angry and devastated because your person cut it off with and isolate them. They want them to come to them and isolate their marriage or their relationship. Even though that they are really getting to know a new relationship also in the same time. But they still have the mood swing back and forth about your person. Your person think that this person, the third party, did not let them go, still holding on them too. The third party is really stressed out and mad and angry, devastated. How come I send you messages? I call you, you are not really answering me. And your person, okay, well I chose someone else. I get called to you and I was, I, I just like, you know, rejected the relationship. It did not work between us. We had fights and arguments. And I have a wife or a husband at this time. What am I supposed to do? And you're like, I don't care. I'm going to fight with him, with your person. Like, you know, that the, the third party wants to fight with you, dear Gemini. And they want really to get your person behind your back. So they are trying to take them. I'm mad and angry. I insist. I'm very stubborn. I don't care. You are going to change things right now to leave your wife or your husband or like you know, because they dear Gemini they the third party wants your spouse to leave you to get with them, to be with them. And you are like you know it, you feel it. That this is what's going on, like, you know, around you or behind your back. Even if your person is not talking to them yet. But you kind of, like, you know, feel sensitively about these energies. And you are like, okay, I want to see what happened. But dear Gemini, it's like you don't want it to happen. You don't want your person to leave you and go to the third party. But there is a slight feeling in you. Let them go. Because I will take the one I'm in love with. For some of you, I'm not saying all of you are doing this. Okay. Your person, the one you live with, dear Gemini, to the third party saying, that was just an affair. I didn't mean really like, no, I want to marry you. Because I was mad at my spells before that's why i did get to know you and you are like i don't care i she she or he coming sneaky to your person like no behind the scene wants really to be with them into a new beginning they want to renew that new beginning still talking to friends and family like you know just like you know to deliver messages because your person is really giving them the cold shoulder they feel blocked, maybe. Still, that's the third party. Blocked from their wishes, yet it didn't come. They know there is a third party, which is you, dear Gemini, and they want really to take you away, take your person away from you. Your person, like, you know, just, no. I yelled at you, I told you to walk away. I walked away from you personally, like, you no, know, completely, 100%. I never wanted to come back. 
this is the change of direction. I'm not going to commit. Even if they want to deal with them again, they don't want to commit. But when I see the Eight of Cups, someone walked away completely, they walked away. They are not going to change their mind. So the third party, like, you know, have a drain on your energy, dear Gemini, at this time, but you don't know it. You can feel it, you have a sense of it, and you say, no, I am, I'm not sure, no, maybe not, uh, I don't know. For, for your person here, dear Gemini, they end it. They don't want to go back to it again. But there is a complicated situation with you, dear Gemini. You don't know what to do. So we had like no reading for you and the current person and a past, past, past ex who's trying to come back to you. And there is someone that you feel really very beautiful energy with. And a third party who was connected with your spouse or your current relationship. This is like you know, about five people we are reading at this time. You have genuine love in your heart. And you mean really very well. And the third party means very well for their your person as to love them, to be with them. But they don't mean very well to you to take your person away. This is what's happening and what's going on. You open your, your heart for love. And you won't really like no love. You are wishy-washy and suspicious about the person that you are with. When you are wishy-washy and suspicious, this is what happened. There is someone out there, love your spouse and want them. As soon as you are suspicious and you keep being in the up and down, back and forth about your person, the current person. The universe say, if you are suspicious with them like that and you hate their, you hate their guts and they have like, you know, um, you suspicious with them, you are not sure about them. You know what? Click, click. There is a third party who want him or her. We'll bring them to them. Walk away, go to another person, do whatever you want. Follow your heart. You love someone else, go to them. And you are like, Okay, I don't know. I'm still protective over my person. While you are suspicious back and forth, that's going to allow the energy to give it to someone else that care about your person 100%. You care about your person. You love your current person, but you are wishy-washy. So that's what happened. This is how the energy works. If you want your current person, you don't want them to walk away. Stop being wishy-washy about them back and forth. That will allow that person to go with you straight forward and the relationship will work perfectly. But if you are up and down, back and forth, the universe say, if you are not sure, you know, maybe you need more time. Go ahead, you know, there is a person like, you know, who love your person and will take them away. So it's your choice at the end. Dear Gemini, I hope you enjoy this reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. And thank you so much for watching. The link for my website is below this video. Click on the website. You will have all the information that you need. Thank you. Bye-bye.